I'm inbound. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. Recon aircraft in your area. Recon airborne. I changed it to a UAV. Man, can... bro, they not spawning back here. I got a V2, let's get it. Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. My name is Blaze Redemption and today what I have for you guys is another Call of Duty World War 2 video. In today's video guys, we're going to be unlocking the V2 rocket. We legit grinded every single mission team, every single division, or whatever you want to call them. And it's finally the time. So let's go ahead and go over here and press the divisions and uh, we're going to see what happens. Alright, let's get it. Alright, so we're going to prestige the infantry division first. Go ahead and do that. I don't even know what this unlocks. This is my first time prestiging anything in this game. Lower reset. All right, keep your progress. All right, good choice, else. soldier. Is it? Infantry you just. The tip of the so you telling me I I just grind it? All you gonna tell me is, is is good luck. Good good choice. All right, bet. All right, let's go ahead and go with the next one. At this prestige one, prestige one. If you guys don't know, this is the hidden score streak within Call of Duty World War II. Pretty much allows you guys to go up on a 25 kill streak with only your gun, and then you get to drop like a Moab type of score streak, which pretty much kills an entire enemy team. I'm I'm quite curious to know if there's gonna be like another one for whenever you get like all four of them to level four. Maybe you get an advanced UAV or something unlocked. I'm not sure. Anything could happen, but uh, let's go ahead and finish opening these up, and then we're gonna get into the rest of the video. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I might actually prestige as well. I'm low-key well I'm not gonna prestige. Mountain. Well done, soldier. All right, let's get it. Now that we have every single one of these prestige, now it's time to get this nuke. So this is the moment you guys all been waiting for. Your boy Blaze Redemption, finna put these tips to work. I'll see you guys in the gameplay. All right, guys, so welcome back. My name is Blaze Redemption once again. Today, I'm gonna be showcasing you guys the V2 rocket and be telling you guys exactly how to get it. If you didn't catch that at the introduction of the video, you know exactly what I was talking about. So, first and foremost, guys, in order to unlock the V2 rocket in Call of Duty World War II, you guys have to prestige each and every single division team at least one time. I'm not sure, like I said previously, if there's gonna be something whenever you prestige them all twice or three times or even four times times you know if you can get another hidden score streak or something like that i'm not sure we'll just have to find out but pretty much guys like i said just prestige them all once and you guys get to unlock this now to get the actual v2 rocket guys you have to go on a 25 guns only streak and that means like with your guns you can get it also with your equipment like if you get like a grenade kill or if you get like a trip mine kill or if you even get something like a gas grenade kill you guys can still count it towards your kill streak or your gun streak in general and it pretty much allows you guys to get this score streak that is very i'm gonna say it's very easy it's kind of a challenge i'm not gonna lie if you're not playing with friends it's a really big challenge but in my case you know i was playing with some of the homies and honestly and truly we weren't even trying to go for v2 rockets we were literally just trying to spawn trap and have fun because that's what you're doing boots on the ground kai you spawn trap the shit out of people sit on head glitches straight you know all that good stuff right there and just have fun with the game so moving on i also wanted to talk to you guys about the best class setup that i was using within today's video there will also be another class setup specifically just for this weapon later on but as of right now guys i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what i was using so on screen right about now what you guys are gonna be seeing me use is the stg which is a pretty overpowered assault rifle in my opinion equipped on it i have extended mags with rapid fire and foregrip also using the machine pistol as my secondary ordinance as my division team or not division team but basic training and then for my division i was using the infantry i'm gonna break this down a little bit and explain to you exactly why i use each and every single thing that is on my class first and foremost guys we're using extended max because extended max allows you guys to have extra ammo within the magazine which makes it easier for you guys to win multiple gunfights at one time especially whenever you're inside of the spawns or something like that you know there's people gonna be spawning left right and directly sometimes behind you and in front of you so you guys 
guys need to be able to have those extra attachments or those extra mags to be able to win those easy gun fights each and every single time also guys with the rapid fire since i'm so far up into the spawns and i'm so close to the enemy spawn point i want to use rapid fire so that i'm able to win those up close and personal gun fights against those people who like to use stuff like the bar or stuff like the mp40 you know just some of those overpowered weapons that have very very high firing rates now don't get me wrong the scg already has a very good base firing rate but with rapid fire it makes it so much easier for you guys to win those up in person and close to no gunfights also guys with the foregrip guys the reason the foregrip is there is so that i can maintain accuracy at medium to long range gunfights it is an assault rifle but sometimes it can be a little bit shaky whenever you're fighting people in those long range gunfights and even sometimes like i said at medium range gunfights moving on the ordinance guys is there because the ordinance allows you guys to get your score streaks at a cheaper price so instead of getting 100 points per kill it's like getting 125 or 150 points per kill and if you're holding a flag bro that's like 250 points per kill which is absolutely insane guys you can be streaking within like the first five seconds 10 seconds of picking up the flag and being inside of those burn traps which is crazy you have such a blast doing it also guys with ordinance you're able to re-roll your score streaks and when i say score streaks i mean like if you get something like an emergency supply drop or emergency care package or whatever it's called or you're just using regular care packages it allows you guys to re-roll those streaks so that you can get a higher score streak instead of getting a uav out of it you can potentially get a ball turret or paratroopers or something like that which are pretty insane score streaks if i do say so myself i do enjoy the score streaks in this game moving on guys the division like i was saying i was using infantry division now the reason i use infantry division is because i was using assault rifle for one assault rifles with the division team of infantry will allow you guys to have a rifle bayonet on your weapon which is crazy because like if you can get into those up and close and personal gunfights inside of the spawns then you can knife those enemies and step on your streaks also guys i'm getting extra mags i don't have scavenger on because that's the forge um basic training so i'm using extra mags you know i'm getting those extra mags so i can step on those streaks longer keep continuously using the weapon that i like to use so dearly in call of duty world war ii also guys with the infantry division it allows you guys to get an extra attachment yes an extra attachment for your weapon which is crazy so instead of encountering somebody with two attachments you get to slap on three attachments with this and last but not least the reason I'm using infantry division because like come on now you get a stock why not have a stock it's boots on the ground call of duty it's head glitches it's corner camping it's windows it's flanks you need a stock to be able to all strafe and all your enemy each and every single time but that right there is going to pretty much wrap up my commentary i really hope you guys did enjoy the video and the commentary as well if you guys are brand new don't forget to drop a like it'll be greatly appreciated we're going to shoot for 40 likes on today's video subscribe you guys are brand new and do enjoy the content like i said guys this is not a video that you guys are usually see on my channel as far as editing terms and last but not least hit that notification bell so you guys are always updated with literally each and every single video and live stream we do have coming to the channel without further ado i hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day hope you guys enjoy your stay my name is blaze redemption and i will see you guys in the next video peace Let's get it. Yeah, let's go find out. Y'all niggas can have all them care packages. I got my vicious metal too. I'm not even over there. That nigga got melted. Recon aircraft ready. 